Hello and welcome to another Brawl modding tutorial. This is probably going to be the last uh, code tutorial I'm doing, unless somebody requests a toad. I, a code, sorry. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Open up GCT Edit. And we have a nice little code set that we're working with. Remember, this has all the codes from the previous three tutorials. I would recommend you checking those out if you don't really understand what kind of things we're going to be doing, because you don't want to be confused when you're working with codes. So, this one, we're doing the custom character selection. Uh, Brawl has a really, really boring, really ugly character selection screen. Luckily, someone made a really nice one and it's the Brawl Plus one, and it is really great. So, there are a variety of codes. First, we need to get the character selection screen fixed so that you can, there's two different buttons for Samus and Zero Suit Samus. And this uh, makes the game look like it has a lot more characters than it actually does. Even though it does have that many characters, it just makes it look so much better. So, uh, you want the character selection screen fix for Giga Bowser and company. I'm not sure what this actually does, but if it's a fix, it probably means there was some kind of error and they had to fix it. So, it would be a good thing that we put it in there. Unless I'm crazy. Add that. Uh, this is the actual code itself, the custom CSS version 3. So, you select all of this. Copy it, put it in there. I know it's lengthy, but who doesn't like a good lengthy code? I uh, just keep with the deletings. Um, oops, uh, I think that was a zero. Yes, it was. I uh, just keep reducing it until it's all one line. And this, if you don't do this correctly, it will tell you that it has to be divisible by 16, which is the total length of one line of hex, which is this. So add that. And just as a, a little bonus, you're going to be adding the indep independent Pokemon engine. And what this does is it makes it so that you can choose Pokemon Trainer but you can also choose Squirtle, Ivysaur, or Charizard as individual Pokemon, and when you die, they will never switch. And you can't switch if you press down B. This is great if you want to just main Charizard, which a lot of people have started doing, since now they don't have to go to Squirtle and Ivysaur before they can get back to Charizard again. Charizard is actually quite a powerful character in the game, and is probably the best thing uh, to be added is this being able to choose lots of characters. So there you have it. Right now we have a great custom character selection screen with a bunch of new characters. It looks really good. It includes, I believe, uh, it includes Zero Suit Samus, Sheik, the three Pokemon. So right there, that's five extra characters. Probably forgetting something. But that is all that you need to do for this one, and to have a great custom character selection screen, this is the tops. So I hope you enjoyed watching this, and tune in. I'll be making one more, the most important one probably, should I, should I do that one first? So yeah.